Joy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is not about why I left LuLaRoe or about my success with Pivoting. Today is haters, trolls, and bitter ex consultants. What else is there to say? Now, I'll start out and lay it on the line, and then we're going to talk Mommy MacGyver blog. So, just because you suck at selling does not mean the company sucks. Just because you suck at selling does not mean that the product sucks. Just because you suck at selling does not mean you can blame all the rest of the successful consultants because they stand up for what their product is. Just own it. You sucked. Move on. Bye-bye. Now, Mommy MacGyver, because we got all them bitter hatred troll people out of the way. So Mommy MacGyver's blog is the shiz knit. If you watch Mommy MacGyver, she has a no holds barred approach to things. So she'll pull out, oh gee, here's a lawsuit on LuLaRoe. Here's all the details, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah, to be fair, Mommy MacGyver at one point in life was a LuLaRoe consultant. Maybe, you know, maybe she just wants to bash them. Hypothetically. I personally don't think that, but hypothetically, you know. Oh, wait, no. She's never been Epiphany consultant. And she laid out Rachel from Epiphany. She was a consultant who um sort of threatened to do this whole, you know, blackmail-y thing and tried to claim she was going to take whatever she was to Mommy MacGyver. Uh, did you not know Mommy MacGyver? She totally went out and laid the whole thing. Screenshots, Snapchats, whatever it was, all of the documentation. And then Rachel with her other like Facebook profiles on there like -de 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 -de, keyboard, keyboard warrioring, right? Like the haters, the trolls, and the ex-consultants that we just talked about. Step back from your keyboard. Put down the mouse sword and walk away. If you are not ready to sacrifice and have success, then leave it alone. Move on with your life. Now, is that to say that all direct sales are bad? Hmm, no. Is that to say that all direct sales are good? Hmm, definitely not. Does everybody that quits a direct sales mean they're a failure or they suck at selling? No, of course not. I am not that close-minded. I know that there is people with medical issues or finance issues or they got to go to work or it's just not your jam. You're just like, yeah, I thought I'd love this and I don't. Or maybe the, the product you're selling, you just didn't love. But there's a difference between that kind of I moved on and the better trolls, ex-consultants, and haters. Because those kind of people, the ones that it just wasn't their thing. They had other things to do with life. They had medical things come up, whatever it is. They're not the ones keyboard warrioring out there. Oh my gosh, you know how awful this is. Blah, 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 blah. Especially, they're definitely not the ones keyboard warrioring. Wow, their profile still says they're an active rep. you out but I'm trying to be nice I don't want to be like you I mean I am successful and I do really well but come on let's face it it's not that fun to watch a blog that is all about being successful I'm not here to say buy my stuff it's beautiful or come join my company I'm successful wait I am successful and my stuff is beautiful but that is not all this blog number one I love to talk. Number two, somebody has to put some real world, real talk out there because there's a whole lot of keyboard warriors out there running around, running their mouths, and you're spreading stuff that isn't real. You want to talk crappy leggings? Well, let's talk. Why didn't you send your crappy leggings back to home office from whatever company you're in and get a return and buy new products? Because that's what happens. If you're a client, you're a customer, and you bought crappy leggings, and you have a consultant that didn't fix that for you, 
You have a crappy consultant. Find a different consultant. If you don't like Epiphany, if you don't like LuLaRoe, if you don't like Scentsy, It Works, or Gummy Owl, whatever else, and your thing is I can go to the dollar store and buy it cheaper, by all means, bye-bye, go to the dollar store, buy it cheaper. Now, will you have the same cute quality clothes? No. Will you have the same customer service and relationship? No. Can you go to the dollar store? Sure. How about it? Go to the dollar store. The point is, there is outlets for this besides your keyboard warrior. If you suck at sales, move on. Direct sales isn't your thing. If you suck at sales, don't blame the company. If you suck at sales, don't blame the successful consultants. If you're interested in finding something to do, you want to join a direct sales company, go check out Mommy Guyver's blog. Do your research on the company. Now, that said, don't believe everything good you hear and definitely don't believe all the keyboard warriors. Is there things that go wrong here and there? Absolutely. But then again, you know, Apple had phones explode. So did Samsung. But people still line up by the gazillion to buy them. Because oh, could it be that every company actually has defective items? And do they take him back and make him right? Yes. Yes. I'm a little over the top with my sarcasm because sometimes the lack of thinking and common sense that goes on in life is just like, wow. Wow. Really? It gets like that. It's just a little bit much. So we got to lay it out. So we've established if you're a consultant and you can't sell, we know what to do there. If you're a customer and you got leggings that were too short or a shirt with a tear in it or it was too small, you take it back to your consultants and you say, you know what, here's what's wrong with this. And they fix it. And if they don't, I'm sorry, you've got a sucky consultant. You can find me. I'll be happy to take care of you. Now, that's bad. If you're the one that gets a piece of whatever in and then you see something else you like and you're like oh gee well you know i don't like how this fits so let me send it back so i can get that no that's just being a crappy customer it, it, sorry i told you real talk i lay it out there now thank god my girls are not like that if there is something that escapes me and it gets to them because i mean we're all human i fix it but they don't actually run around doing that. So if you're doing that, shame on you. Now, the next thing you do, besides finding yourself a decent consultant, and I'll volunteer for that if you can't find one, um, or you send your stuff back to home office if you're a, a stylist, a consultant. If you're looking to join a direct sales company, check out Mommy Guyver's blog. Search for a sponsor. I'm telling you, if you do not talk to people and find out what it takes to be successful, what their expectations of you are, what you expect from a sponsor, because let me tell you, a sponsor's not going to do it for you. I'm not going to make your sales for you, and neither is anybody else. But I will give you the trainings. I will make sure, hey, did you know this came out? I will help you with graphics, those kinds of things. That's what a good sponsor is doing. I'm not saying come to me and you got to come to me. I'm the only one because there's lots of good sponsors out there, but you also have the really crappy sponsors, the ones that are like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up. It's awesome. It's great. Life is wonderful. And you sign up and they vanish off the planet. Well, guess what? The jokes on those sponsors, because the bonus for you actually signing up under them isn't like, whoa, I won the lottery. No, they only make money if you're doing your job. The only way you're doing your job selling is for them to be a good sponsor. So you see how it like balances out. So if you're running around going, oh my gosh, these mentors are horrible. My life sucked without them. Did you do your due diligence when you signed up? 
I didn't find a good sponsor. Did you do your due diligence and work the trainings, etc.? Like, they're not going to do it for you. I'm not going to do it for you. So, that pretty much covers the whole playing field. Everybody from customer to sponsors. Now, companies. Let's talk companies. And then we'll holla at Mommy McGatter. And then I'll peace out for the day. So, are there bad companies? Yes, absolutely. There are bad companies. There are companies that do not care about you. They care about whether you buy the product so that they make money. Carry more inventory, carry more inventory, carry more inventory, because when you buy inventory, they make money. Now, are there companies that care? Yes. Here, this is the basics of what you need. Oh, you guys have a problem? Come to me. Now, is every blessed thing in a company going to go the way that particular stylist wants it? No. But hello, you're in the real world. You're a grown-up, and if you're not, please go put on your grown-up panties. Because nothing goes your way all the time. And if you were raised like that, God help us all. Because the world is not made to revolve around you. I can promise you, if you go back to school, you will find out that the sun does not revolve around any single person on this planet. It actually revolves around the whole thing. I think. Maybe I didn't go back to school. Anyways, my point is, the world's not all about you. It's not all about me, and it's not all about anybody else. So nobody's going to get their own way all the time. But you have those con those companies that will take what their consultant base says and adjust for that. Then you have the companies that, you know, you can read about on Mommy, Blagger, Mommy Giver's blog. Now, Mommy Giver, Mommy Giver is the bomb diggity. Now, if you're wanting to blackmail somebody or you want to trash talk about trash talk for no reason, I wouldn't suggest going to Mommy Giver because she'll call you out on your shit. Plain and simple, she will. If you want to watch a nicely edited, perfectly done blog, I'm not the channel for you. If you want to watch a little bit of sarcasm, some eh, humor, and some real talk, come see me. Now, holla! Peace out for the night! Don't you forget, you better go check Mommy Giver's blog. And you trolls and ex-consultants, back off the keyboard and the mouse. Go find a life. Oh, wait, 